Right, hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are looking at financial documents, particularly the bank statement. Right, so let's look at what they can ask you and you can see <laughs> there's a lot that they can ask you over there. So from the top, top left, um, you can see they are looking at the account holder name. So the name that will be displayed there is your, if, if this is your account, this will be your name that's displayed over there with underneath that your address as well okay this is why many times you can use the bank statement as a proof of um, residence not just proof of getting paid then the account details over here you can see uh, scheme uh, easy access salary account and the account number those are the account details of this particular individual over here and then we have statement of account that particular number and for the period so this will be the statement period so all of these details in other words what time period does it cover and it tells us here it covers from the 1st of august 2019 until the 6th of november 2019 in other words all the transactions all the transactions that have taken place in this account whether it's debit or credit debit means the money's going out of your account credit means money's coming into your account anything like that um for that particular period so this is why this is the statement period okay and then as we go down you can see sorry you can see the debits over there and you can see where it's gone to right so we can see that there are a lot of debits going on here on this side or in this column we deal with the credits okay money that has come into the account we can also see um, at some point they will show us our, our balances here as well. So um, if we've got this as our main balance, in other words, our opening balance um, and 2600 was debited. In other words, it went off the account. That's the balance you'd have there. Then this went off. That's the balance. And then you can see here was a credit, which means because all these debits eventually just dried up this account and then there was a credit over there there was a debit again a credit over there um, so this is where we would find the changes to our balance right over here we would find the dates of the transactions so when did this transaction take place this was the 3rd of august it was a debit we can see there for that amount going over there and that was the balance on that particular day, right? So like I mentioned as well, this is the column that shows us the uh, description of the transaction. So again, guys, we've got the date that the transaction took place. If there was a check, the check number would go in there, but generally we don't work with that anymore. We would have our opening balance underneath that. We would have the description of all the transactions that took place, whether they are debits or credits. And then we'll have our balance sitting on the right hand side. So this is basically what you look for and what you look at when you're dealing with your bank statement.